So my girlfriend introduced me to a company called Usborne Books. Uh, what I wanted to show you today are a few of our favorites that have to do with gardening or just being outside. Uh, one is gardening for beginners. Uh, what makes it rain? How do flowers grow? And why do we need bees? So Blake and I were reading the Why Do We Need Bees book the other night. And it is a lift the flap book. So it's pretty awesome. When you open it up, they ask very simple questions. Um, as you know, my son is five years old, so uh, you know, keeping it simple is, is necessary. And it says, what do bees look like close up? Will they sting me? And each one of these questions has an answer underneath. So it kind of keeps their little minds engaged, um, as well as answering really important questions. Why do we need bees? Obviously, there's a big push on saving the pollinators, which include the bees. There's a flap here that says, how can we help the bees? And it says, by giving them places to live and planting more flowers for their food. And that's what we're going to kind of um, head into today because we're going to go uh, decorate some mason bee houses. So we're going to let the kids paint a mason bee house and we're going to give them a little bit of a fun education on why we need the bees in the process. Okay, so we made it to our friend's house, and today we're going to um, decorate mason bee houses. Yeah. What do we know about bees? Bee. What do you know about bees? Bees and thank you. <laughs> bees and thank you. They're very polite. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Blake, what do you know about bees? They take the pollen and they have special tummies for the pollen to stick to their body and legs. Yeah, they have hairy tummies and hairy legs so that they can collect as much pollen as possible, right? And then what do they do with the pollen? Uh, they bring it back to the hive. Yeah. And then they make honey. Yes, they make honey. How cool is that? So these particular houses have little paper tubes inside of them and it's for mason bees. Yes, so let's pick out a few colors. Liana, which color? Bubble. Go ahead and squeeze a little bit onto your plates. Okay. Good. I'm doing black, guys. There you go. Perfect. Go ahead, do the other wing. Wait, yep, go ahead. You can cover that whole thing. So are bees good or bad? Do we want bees around? No. No? I don't want bees on mine. Are bees scary? Yeah. Yeah? Do you know why we need bees? Yeah. Do you know that they help food grow? Yeah. So when we have a vegetable garden, the only way we get zucchini and tomatoes and cucumbers is if the bees help us pollinate the flowers. And then that's how we get fruit and vegetables. Are ready to lift it up and see how we did? Yeah. Alright, go ahead. Lift up. <laughs> bees! That looks wow. pretty cool. Alright, so do you want to put your name on it? Yeah. All right, let's, let's pick the letters. Yeah. All right. Okay, so here. And you want where do you want to do the letters? Right here? Can I do this? Oh. Can I do this? Yes, and you're going to sponge very, that's probably enough, right there. Okay, you ready?
So is this a fun project? Yeah! yeah. There you go! Are you having fun? Liana, are you having fun? Yep. Good. Well, look at this! You can even drag it! Oh, that looks nice can and smooth. Can you paint the rest of it like him? Nina, Nina, what's Nina. the best thing about painting? Do you uh, like painting? Are you, paint, are you painting your arms or the paper? And your forehead? Oh, oh yeah, ah. baby! <laughs> no. If you did this on the side. Wanna do that? Yeah. All right, what color? You can do the flowers one color and then the stem green if you want. Okay. Okay? Go ahead. And what, and what are we gonna put on there? Do you want an owl back there, a butterfly, dragonfly, a different bee? We have this bee. I want a dragonfly! Dragonfly. Whoa. Ready? Something tells me my fingers are gonna get. Turn red.